Senator Graham. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, what's the inflation rate today, uh, Mr. Secretary, do you know, for the nation? Senator, I believe it's approximately 4.6 percent or so. For the country? Overall. Okay. Is the Navy budget equal to inflation? I know, sir, it's not. Okay. What's the Navy budget's? How, how far below inflation is it? I believe it's about 2% below inflation, sir. Okay. How many ships do we have in the Navy? And when I mentioned the 4.6, that's the predictors that we used. Okay. Um, All right. What's the actual inflation rate? It's somewhere in the 6% range, sir. Okay. So the predictor was wrong. Predictors are often wrong. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you accounted for that? Have we accounted for? Yeah. Well, we're very thankful for the additional $9 billion that, the Depart that well, my, Congress my, provided my, my, the Department of Defense. My point is that you're a couple of points below inflation. I think that's my point. Um, so how many ships in the Navy? 296, sir, as of today. Okay. How many ships in the Chinese Navy? It's upward of 300. Like 340? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, by 2028, how many ships will we have? By 2028, we will have approximately uh, 291 ships or so. That's less than 296, right? Yes, sir. Okay. How many will the Chinese have? I, some, I can't predict exactly what the Chinese will have, but well, estimates are upward of 440 or so. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I will add that our ships are extremely more modern than they ever have been. Well, let's hope so. As well. I believe we <laughs> let's hope so. And lethal. <laughs> if not, we're in a world of hurt. Uh, let me let me ask you this, uh, CNO. How many ships do we actually need? Three hundred and seventy-three man and probably one hundred and fifty unmanned. Over okay. So under this budget, the one you, do you support this budget? I do. Okay. If we have two ninety-six today, and under this budget we're going to be at two ninety-one in FY twenty-eight. How do we get to 373? Sir, right now we have 56 ships under construction and another 76 that are under contract. We can't buy back time. For 20 years we were focused on ground wars and understandably so, the Navy, but the Navy wasn't the priority. Sir, keeping old ships, keeping old ships that are not usable or workable is not gonna make us a stronger I, Navy. I, I'm, I'm not arguing with you, I'm just asking, does the budget get you to 373 ships? If we follow the shipbuilding plan, that th there's three alternatives in the shipbuilding plan. The third alternative, assuming about a 5% increase above inflation, above our top line. Okay, you're assuming 5% above inflation. The actual budget is 2% below inflation. How can you support a plan that requires 5% to get you where you want to go and the actual plan is 2% below inflation. I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Does that make sense to you? Well, sir, part of it gets that what, what can the shipbuilding industry actually produce? And so if... Do we have a shipbuilding industry problem or do we have a budget problem? We have a shipbuilding industry problem currently, Senator. Okay, well, let me just go back to the budget. He just said you need 5% above inflation Am I quoting you right? Sure, keep to get to that 373 number. You just said that the Navy's budget is 2% below inflation. And when you look out over time, in year 10, do you know what percentage of G GDP we will be spending on defense? I cannot predict that in 10 well, years. Well, I, I can. I can tell you right now, it's 2.5%. How many times has this nation spent less than 3% on GDP for defense in the, in the modern era? I know. I'll just tell you. Probably four times. Four times. 1940, 1999, 2000, and 2001. This budget is going to get us to 2.5. And FY28, it goes to 2.9. So your budget is taking... GDP spent on the Navy and the military to historic lows. The budget you're supporting is below inflation. 
and you're telling us to get to where we want to go, we've got to be above inflation by 5%. If this is a good budget, I would hate to see a bad budget. Thank you. Senator Shaheen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you to each of you for uh, being here today and for your service to the country. 